Hi guys, today I will be continuing the series from where we last left off, if you haven't checked out part 1 yet, you should do that now, we will wait for you. Done, good, moving on to part 2 then, what makes a video game great? We begin this list by talking about what I find most important in a video game, the replay value. As a kid I would always argue for video games by stating that it lasts forever once purchased and can be replayed as many times as possible. Not only did this get me the new game I wanted, it was also the truth back then. I would buy a game and play it for days or weeks on end, then get tired of it for a while, but eventually, I would find myself playing it again. Replay value is largely influenced by the game giving the player the ability to do whatever they want. Back in the day, we referred to this as realism, but it's actually more about freedom. Being able to write your own story, create your own character, allowing the creation and use of mods in the game and multiple endings are what increase a game's replay value. The fact that you can create your own character and build your own story with a simple mod is why I play Skyrim to this day, even if it is a broken mess, a big, beautiful broken mess, but Skyrim lacks one important thing, which is multiple endings. The Witcher 3 is a good example of what I mean. Some state The Witcher 3 having 36 endings, I have played the game and found 4 so far, but remember how I said that playing The Witcher 3 more than a few times starts feeling like a chore? Well it's not just because of the player having to clear out all those question marks, it's also a massive chore to keep track of your progress and manage which ending you get in The Witcher 3. The first time I played the game, I got the worst ending, spoiler alert ahead, for a 6 year old game. Anyway. I got the ending where Ciri dies, Gerald hunts a werewolf and the final witch of the bog and it is all just sad. The second ending was a lot less memorable and thus I can't remember it. I got frustrated with all this and decided to google the answer to the good ending and I finally got it right the third time. I haven't been able to finish the game since. A nice example of a game that counters this ending chore is Dishonored. Bethesda nailed the chaos system. This game also has multiple endings, but has a mechanic that lets you know where you stand. An increase in enemy patrol size, strength, and aggression, more rats, weepers, and bloodflies encountered during missions tell you exactly which ending you can expect. If Skyrim had multiple endings and a chaos system, it would have been the greatest game of the 21st century. But even if something like this is made, it has already been done somewhere in some way or another and that brings me to the next thing that makes a video game great. Something new. A new game, with new mechanics, a new plot style, fresh and undiscovered, and what better example than Among Us. Even though it is a 2018 game, it didn't become an overnight sensation until 2020, and after only a few weeks, duplicates of the game had been created to cash in on the gold rush. It became popular not only because of its uniqueness, but also because people were stuck at home and needed a way to play together and connect with others in a way that was taken away from them via the lockdown. Something new, a global pandemic, and YouTube influence are the ingredients to create the perfect game it seems. It's sad to say but the game that I clocked the most hours in 2020, was Among Us. A small game made by a few developers beat everyone else in a multi-billion dollar market for an entire year. But the game has basically died at this point due to all the hacking. I played something similar in Fortnite's community created games, but it wasn't the same as sitting on the porch in the middle of the night, listening to Linkin Park, sipping on illegal wine, and killing every single five-year-old in the Among Us lobby. Similarly, Valheim is basically Minecraft with gravity and realism. This is why I played it intensely for a while, before going back to Minecraft. Smaller companies are outshining the big ones because they remember the sacred oath, passion before profit. Cyberpunk 2077 was just another first-person shooter to me, but Among Us was something new. I wonder what the future holds. Will smaller companies be getting more shine than big ones? Will we see empires fall and new ones built? Only time will tell, I don't know how much damage Fallout 76, Cyberpunk 2077, and WWE 2020 did to their respective companies, but if these mistakes are repeated too often, these companies will eventually find themselves in the developer graveyard. Press F in the comments for all the companies that EA bought and destroyed over the years. They are gone but not forgotten. 
I guess this is it, this is a shorter list than I thought, there might only be two points raised here, but if taken into consideration, it could help you create a game that will never die, just like Skyrim, but not even Skyrim is perfect, which is what I will be discussing in the next and final video of the series, what video game company got it right, be sure to hit the notification bell, so that you know when it will be released, don't forget to like if you agree, or dislike if you think I wasted your time. Also comment if I missed something, but until next time guys, stay safe, stay chill, and as always, thank you for spending some time with me.